Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and in today's video I am going to be showing you how I made this internal combustion pistol along with some very awesome shooting tests. So please be sure to stick around for those. Now some of you guys who have been watching my videos for a while may be asking yourself why I made another axe and sparking gun. I'll, I'll let you know that this is not like any other spud gun you've ever seen. This is a very new design. As you can see the one up here is your pretty standard issue design. I made this on one of my older videos. You basically just spray the gas in the end right here in the reservoir. Then by clicking the piezo sparker it ignites the gas and will fire whatever you put in this little copper barrel. This gun on the other hand works on the principles of an internal combustion engine. To, to help explain why I decided to go with this design I quickly made up a sketch here of how an internal combustion engine works. Basically there's four strokes as seen here. The first stroke is where you have your fuel and air entering the combustion chamber then as you can see here this little T is the piston which gets pushed up by the crankshaft and as you can see compresses all your little air and fuel bubbles here and then this little triangle is the spark plug and when it's turned on it will ignite the air and fuel causing an explosion which forces the piston downwards like a little grenade which of course in turn spins the crankshaft yet again then on the next upstroke, the piston will push all those exhaust gases out of the valve for exhaust and it will repeat. And that is how your engine works. Sorry for that little science lesson, but I think it's important that I showed you for you to understand why this is such a beneficial improvement over one of my old versions, such as a non-compressing one, which simply the mixture stays in here. And similar to an internal combustion engine, we are going to be utilizing compressed mixture of air and fuel, the fuel of course being this axe body spray, because when it is compressed, as seen in my drawing, the molecules are going to be closer and closer together, which when you ignite the sparker, means that the ignition will be a lot faster and more powerful due to the molecules being closer together and the ignition temperature being higher. I clearly already constructed this gun off camera, but I'm going to quickly now go over the basics of how I made it. It is not that tough. I started with a lighter, took off the barrel by taking apart the uh, lighter, took off the barrel of the lighter, and inside you will find three things. You will find two electrical wires and one gas line. All you can do is cut off the gas line and then the two electrical wires are what will be sparking when you pull the trigger. Uh, this one doesn't have a safety so you literally just pull the trigger for the spark. And then what you do is each line wrap it around the very metal tip of a thumbtack or push pin whatever you call them. And then put hot glue on the bottom of the push pin before pressing both of them into the side of a large syringe a squeezing like ketchup bottle may work but if you can source one of these large syringes I would recommend that and then the key when you put them in as you can see leave maybe an eighth of an inch or two to three millimeters apart from the very tips so that when you hit your sparker you can clearly see a little spark then of course I mounted for easeability and functionality I mounted the syringe on top of my lighter, makes it look like a little pistol. Then for a barrel, I simply put some hot glue around the end of the syringe. The syringe tip only goes to about here. I wanted to extend the barrel, so I got a 3 inch piece of just tubing. Any size will work depending on what you want to shoot. In today's video, we're going to be shooting some corks. So as you can see, when I put the cork in the end of the barrel, and go ahead and press the syringe. I'm actually pushing pretty hard right now and it's just springing back meaning that I've created an airtight seal which is obviously required for being able to compress the gases 
in your ignition chamber. So without further ado, let's get to the shooting tests. So to operate this pistol, you must follow the steps very similar to the engine diagram you saw before. So the first step, take out the plunger, which is kind of like the piston, I guess you may say. And then take your fuel. I'm using this little thing of axe that doesn't smell that good in my opinion. And you're going to go ahead and put a very little bit in the back, just like that. No need to rush because right now it's mixing with the air. And then you're going to just slightly insert the plunger as you see there. And then get a piece of ammo or a cork in my case that will clog the end to make a airtight seal from your piece of ammunition to your piston. And you'll know if it's airtight when you start pushing if there is lots of resistance. As you can see here, mine does have lots of resistance and therefore must be airtight. Then to shoot, compress as much as you want. It's kind of cool with the syringe because it has markings. There's uh, the 30 mil is usually what I shoot it at. But if you want more power, you can go 25 or even 20. The more compressed and the more fuel you have, as long as it's not too rich of a fuel mixture uh, for it to ignite, the stronger the shot will be. So I'm going to go ahead and show you one sideways and then we'll do one shooting down my living room so you can see how powerful and fast it shoots firing in three two one there you have it here we go for the shooting test now for distance and power we're going to be shooting at those two boxes on top of that big box way down there at the end of my hallway this should give you a good idea of velocity and power. It's not the most accurate thing in the world, as there's no barrel, it's more of a cork gun. But uh, I went ahead and loaded it, so right now there's air and fuel. So once I compress it and pull the trigger, it should fire. So here we go, first shooting test. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and compress it now as much as I can. Alright, right about there. And uh, let's go ahead with the shooting test. Firing in three two, one. I missed, let's try again. Shooting test number two, let's try and hit the targets this time. Here we go, all the way compressed, firing in three, two, one. A bit high again, hopefully you guys can see how fast they're going. Basically as soon as I hit the trigger, they're hitting that wall over there, probably a solid 20 feet away. I'm going to do one more live shooting test for you guys. Take out the barrel, plunger sorry, toss some gas in there, put the plunger back in, cork in the end of the barrel, and let's go ahead and shoot that target. Alright, here we go, final test. Let's try and hit him this time. Firing in three, two, one. Alright, I actually hit the door frame and ricocheted off of it. Hopefully you guys could see that. Uh, or at least, if not, get a good idea of how powerful this thing is. Just in case you didn't see the corks fly, I can show you real quick. Here is my target over here. There's one cork, there's two cork. And the third one is laying around here somewhere. But, thanks for watching everyone. Hope you enjoyed this new innovative style of pistol. Uh, I, don't, I haven't seen anything like it before. I don't know if you guys have either. But I really hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching. If you did like this innovation and type of project, please let me know. And please subscribe for more awesome videos. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Do me a favor and click that big red subscribe button right there. And also, check out some of my other videos by clicking the links on the screen.